Your Excellency, today is one of the happiest days of my life that I am right in front of you as a Rulio Dudoa from the tune of my phobias of several thousands of years ago. Today I am here to surrender myself, my service, and also my selfless effort for us to continue to make history because our people need us so much. You are a great leader, a leader par excellence. We all know what you stand for. Today, I feel very accomplished because the same way your thought process is, that's every time I ask the question, that what is fundamentally wrong with us Africans? Why can't we unite ourselves with our similarities? Why can't we come together and save the generation yet unborn? History will continue to beacon. This is what I live for. And this is why I came back to finish the unsettled assignment because every inch of my sojourn to this world was predicted many, many decades ago. It's about time for us to see ourselves as one. The way you are using our ancient linguistics and our dialects to connect us, that is real. I strongly believe too you are an, a reincarnated spirit. Not about your age now. You have been fighting for the unity, stability of Republic of Uganda with very strong values. We are not driven by money. We are not driven by wealth. Once that unity is there, the social economic impact will come in naturally. Today, as I said, one of the happiest days of my life for meeting you because I've been looking for leaders like you that will that political power for us we don't have political powers, but we have influence in relating to our lineage, in relating to our heritage, in relating to our culture. Politics is even a new thing. Our ancestors were using diplomacy and the kingship system to rule. But for us, we should look beyond our natural boundaries. For us, we should forget all the artificial boundaries given to us that were given to us without our consent. Not even one African was considered. When they sliced our continent like bread, it's a shame. And they have been working on our mindset and, and psyche that we are different. We are not different. We are similar. We belong to the same lineage. Our unity is our strength. It's about time for us to start coming together. You said so many things that our others are looking at us from the moon. We are still waiting 
for self-aggrandizement. We are still here for self-praise and all what have you. Your Excellency, you are an icon. Your rule is not finished yet. Nothing will happen to you. You said it. You survived so many sickness. You are not in an ordinary human being. I'm a spiritual king. I see you very deeply. Do not worry. You are doing God's work. God is doing your work. I'm using your words for you to have more renewed energy. For you to have more renewed strength. This is now the time for us to draft your legacy very well. Beyond East Africa, all the way to West Africa, all we need to do is simply connect the dots. You are born for this. You have held a country so peacefully over the last 38 years. Anybody in Africa that has done that should come out. Nobody. A country you met that we can read from history books. A country you met in great turmoil that till date is still being talked about. And yet, you have kept the country peacefully. There's something about you. It's not your might, not your power. But there are some forces unseen around you. I want to let you know this. You are a reincarnated spirit of our ancestors too. You have given a very good example of your community. How you breed cattle and milk for your consumption. But other neighbors around you, they don't want to buy how will you now seek for that economic emancipation and prosperity? You need to go beyond breeding what you are breeding and extend that services across to the people that are doing other things but that are afraid of cows and afraid of the more process of making milk. That is the simple explanation and analogy of Africa. Everybody will sit in their country and will say my problem is enough for me. Look at the way you extended under fellowship to our president, our former president, President Buhari. But there are ways to achieve things. We don't have political powers, but we can influence a lot of things. On behalf of this team, I am here to submit, to work with you, to get a lot of things like this done based on your strength, your comparative advantage for us all in Africa to be united. Nothing will happen to you. I am very sure about it. You still have a long way to go until this mission is accomplished. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing. I am very sure. You will wake up every day with renewed strength, with renewed vigor and vitality until your mission, not only for Uganda, but for the entire continent of Africa, beyond East Africa, is achieved. We are your supporting tools. We will support you in our only two ways. In terms of wielding influence, not Political, things beyond political. Like I told you earlier on, we have very strong influence in things they do in Brazil because they took over 15 million Yoruba people to Brazil over 350 years to 400 years ago. They've multiplied to up to 90 million people. The same in the Caribbeans, the same in the Philippines, Trinidad and Tobago, all the way to Cuba and even the United States of America. With new technology now, how are we getting those numbers? Because of 
what they are doing in terms of checking their DNA mm. for them to know their real root. Mm. Because the greatest joy in this world is joy of origination. You feel at home here. This is your origination. Mm. This is your root. The beautiful atmosphere, the hair, the wind that is blowing to you now and your beautiful family and your beautiful wife, your excellency, Mama Janet, you feel very fulfilled. We saw the way you called a cow girl, now a very grown woman yesterday. I was touched to my bone marrow. You remember those days? And you said the only opportunity you had, you had more exposure than her. But you are in their midst. How many African leaders can do this? You have something great for you, working for you. The entire universe will conspire to favor you. Nothing will shake you. The entire universe will come because you believe so much in Pan-African movement. And you have done so well for Uganda. And you have done so well in terms of history for us all and even generation yet unborn to read about you. You are not there yet until you unite Africa. You are the right and the chosen one. And that's the truth. We will continue to work with you. We will continue to check on you. Please, like you said, the energy, the youthful age for me to have been on the throne that is so ancient give us good access to work with you. If I have good access and send any message, any errand for the sake of this Pan-African movement. God will continue to be with you. The forces of nature will continue co to conspire to your favor. Keep up the good thing you're doing. God bless you and God bless all the works of your hand. You. We're very thankful to you for your time. We appreciate it more than anything. And the hospitality, thank you for everything. You deserve to be celebrated every day. On behalf of the entire Yoruba people and the entire continent of Africa, every day of my life, I will continue to celebrate you. Thank you. Because of greatness in you. As we are trying to talk about this Pan-African movement, also the economic emancipation and prosperity will come along because that's what I've been doing. I carry a lot of entrepreneurs along. Some of them are here. Kumi Demuri understands very well the East African market and is doing very well exceptionally. He manages a portfolio of over $200 million. They have a very strong initiative of great things they are doing already in East Africa. We don't talk the talk, we walk the talk. He has been a very good representative of our group and we have quite a lot of other members that along the Pan-African movement and unity, there will be ease to do business. There will be ease to relate with one another. And economic prosperity will come along. We also want to thank you for Ugandan hairline that you are floating that will encourage business across the entire continent of Africa. Keep up the good work. You deserve to be celebrated all the time. Your Excellency, you will not get tired. Your Excellency, your dream for Uganda will continue to flourish. Your Excellency, everything that you lay your hands upon 
will continue to prosper. Thank you for your time. I will advise briefly, I won't take your time, the investors to say a few things before we proceed again. Come in the morning. The floor is open for you to talk to His Excellency on what you do. Okay.